bag is all set up. Those frogs are making so crazy loud noises. I'm just gonna jump in the bed and hopefully tomorrow morning is the day I launch my boat. I kind of stayed dry last night. I almost got super wet. I almost put my tent up the side down there in a puddle of mud. I didn't, thanks God. I'm still a little bit wet because they're not 100% waterproof. Anyway, let's look at the ocean. See if it's a little bit, uh, all right. It's not too bad, it's still quite flattish. All right, time to get the boat in the water. I was having breakfast and uh, the ranger came by. He told me, what are your plans down here? I was like, yeah, hey, I'm just hanging around here, a bit of fishing, and I uh, told him I was gonna launch the boat. And uh, he said like, oh, when? It's like, yeah, I was thinking about going right now. And the ranger told me, you're better off not doing this, man. It's gonna get only worse and worse. I was really excited to get my boat in the water today. Like, not today, at least, not safe enough. As well, look at this weather, guys. It's just Right. Ready to leave. I drove to look at point, see how bad it looks in the distance. Those rangers are like, oh, it's a really big storm coming in. It looks not too good, but uh, not too bad either. After rain, it's sunshine. And there's sunshine. And of course, there's a lot of rain. So yeah, uh, let's go to the next spot, guys. This entire long rock wall behind me. It's supposed to be a really good spot for Mangrove Jack and Barramundi. Zero interest, no follow-ups, using a little soft plastic. So I picked the entire rock wall, didn't get nothing. Came at the end here, and on this one little rock is a bunch of Stratovelli hanging around. It's a little bomby down there, and they're all hanging around there. Watch this. All right, here we go, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, let me run. Let me run. They fight so hard for the side. Not a fun size to rally. They're really small, but damn, they fight hard. Little baby GT. It's not big, but it's big enough for my lunch. Hello, hello. They're right there, the valleys. I already got one already. I need one more for my lunch. Sorry, buddy. my lunch. Not eating size. And welcome to my outdoor kitchen cook. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Not a beautiful morning. Today it's really, really wind still, and I gotta put the boat in the water today. Possibilities to fish here, so it's gonna be amazing. Right. I better get camp ready. We're gonna camp. Um, let's go. 
morning here. One animal came before me, a birdie. Now it's mine. <laughs> For my little home. For the night, we got a little fire going on here. No fish from the fire, unfortunately. I gotta have another cold beer and uh, hit the bed soon. Yo! Another beautiful morning. Guys coming in really close, so I hope my tent will get washed away. I'm gonna shoot off uh, behind the rock down here. Amazing conditions for the morning. The water is so clear as well, I can see on the GoPro, but turtles popping up everywhere. The best thing I ever did the whole day is to get away from everything by myself in this peaceful environment. So I'm using these uh, beautiful herrings. I caught them on the beach. Beautiful baits. I got a live one on at the moment. Had a few runs before, but they all got away. So I'm getting nervous with my live bait. Had a little run. Ooh. All right, let's do it. Ah, oh, again. Oh, that's a squid. Squid eating my life, babe. So my life is getting attacked by squiddies. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> I got him. I replace my herring for a squiddy. Big one, took them on the live squid, splashed the squid a few times in the water and bang, they all came up. The designs for speed, let's get them back in the water as soon as possible. Show me Ray. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Thanks Queenie. So, we did it guys, we caught a fish. Yes. Queen fish everywhere guys, big Queenies. Monster Queenies! He's going for it, he's going for it! Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yes, we got a fight!
Island. As you see, I leave nothing behind except footprints. Everybody who does this, you know, goes remote and go camping, do the same thing. It's everywhere I go on every beach, I find the same rubbish. And I'm really remote, and I pick up one right now. Bottle lid, bottle cap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You know, it goes on, goes on, goes on. Throw the bottle caps away in the bin so they don't go into nature because. It's sad, especially if you come to this kind of place to enjoy the nature and all you find is still rubbish of people. It's sad. It's just been amazing, you know, being able to come down here. I'm very grateful for this. It's kind of one of the best trips I've had so far. Uh, fishing wise, yeah, didn't catch too much fish, but I was expecting that one because the tides are just really, well, really horrible tides. All right, gonna make myself to the other side back you're all good to go nothing can blow in the water beautiful that's me signing out from my private island by my little island it's been nice ah, here we go up to the next adventure <laughs> welcome to my outdoor kitchen cook there's a little bit of uh, freestyle going on here <laughs> as you can see it's the first time I was welcome to a catch and cook so I'm gonna try to show you how I make my favorite ceviche as well it's a public uh, picnic table so I don't want to make a, a big mess here I'll show you as well how I fill it really quick not the best place to do it, not the best knife I have to be really blunt but hopefully it will do the job so first of all I go behind the fin down here on the angle as far as possible behind the head make a nice cut like that then I make a small insert and start scratching along the backbone to the front and to the back as well. There are probably a million more videos on how to fill the fish better. Use a knife to scrape along the meat. Beautiful fillet. If you do really well, don't leave too much meat on the bone. See, only a little bit down here, and uh, it's going to the other side as well. Same process, and uh, get the fish. I'll fill it up. So another beautiful fillet. There's only one thing left now to take up the skin. It takes maybe a bit of practice, but once you get a hang of it, it's really easy. Of course, you require a sharp knife. What I do is I make a small insert in the tail, keep the tail really sturdy, and use a knife to slide over and wiggle along. Beautiful, you see? Same thing, no much meat in there, all the meat's in my, in my place. Nice up. I quickly want to show you the results, all diced up. It's just not too small, not too big. It's all like, like this kind of sizes. In the red onion. Quite a bit to it. All right, chili, nice and fine, of course. I'm slicing everything into brunoise. Brunoise is the French word for cubes, little cubes. That will do, as well. Add it towards the mix. The garlic. I hope you guys will enjoy this. It's a bit as well, like, uh, freestyle. So hopefully uh, next time we'll be milk prepared. Also garlic. Might be a little chunky, but hey, what is. Next time I'll be chopping boards. 
coriander still. I'm just going to really chop it up really rough. Lots of coriander, of course. We're going to season that one up a lot. nice and clean. So we have everything in here. We have the Trivelli diced up, the red onion diced up, the chili, the garlic, and the coriander. Lots of salt, lots of pepper. And now we're gonna roll the lime quickly, like this. And just cut them in half and squeeze them in there. We're gonna marinate the fish like this. Beautiful. And why do I roll the lime? Because they squeeze easier. Small tricks you learn in the kitchen. I'm gonna stir it all like this, all together. So the lime uh, juice, the acid of the lime, will actually cook the trevally uh, slowly. It will take for sure a good 10 minutes. So I've probably got 10 minutes time to go for fish. Here we go. So I'm smashing this video right now. Just a bit of corn chips. Just like this. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. 